what I've come to realize is that our ability to be sensitive to the consciousness between us, to the quality of space, of the space between us, to the nature of the field between us and our partners, does make all the difference to our ability to navigate both the highs and the challenges that inevitably occur in, in the course of our lives together. If we think about it, consciousness is really, it's an environment, it's a field, and all living things grow in an environment. And if you think very simply about plants, you think about their, the soil that they're rooted in. If it's nutrient-rich soil, you, the plants are going to be strong and the harvest is going to be full. If it's nutrient-poor soil, then it, no matter how much you like your plant and talk to your plant, if the, if, if the, nutrient, if the soil is nutrient-poor, the plant is going to suffer. And similarly, if the weather is too stormy, too hot, not enough rain, your, 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 living, your living organism is going to suffer. And similarly, um, in relationship, if the consciousness is not nutrient-rich, if it's not filled with the qualities that we need for our growth, the relationship and the individuals will suffer. And if we learn how to continually uh, feed the consciousness, enrich the field that our relationship exists in, in the right way, at the right time, with the right ingredients, then we can grow and develop and our relationship can remain strong and vibrant and vital in ways um, beyond what we could do individually on our own.